the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, God bless you. Hey, I appreciate you uh, uh, joining in and taking a look at our, our videos and the session that we deal with today. We, we had a good session on the 6th of August uh, dealing with, the, and I'm giving the title in a minute, but I just want to sit there and say, God bless you and I thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and leave comments if you want to leave comments. And we're going to go ahead and break these sessions down from A to G or whatever it needs to do to complete it. And we'll try to post them on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. Uh, those who subscribe, you get notice when we put them out. Uh, those we use by text, we saw a video, we'll send those out on, on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, but I really encourage you to take a look at this because I mean, I tell you, man, this is a great subject today. And let me tell you what the subject is here. The title is interesting. Let's talk about the fact is that uh, I don't see nothing with a timer on it. The top of the fact is, do other gospels give more authority to steal, kill, and destroy? When we talk about the fact is there's only one gospel, but people have used the title of Christianity, title of their belief system, to justify another message of kill, steal, and destroy. Our faith, which is in Christianity, talks about loving one another and of the salvation of all mankind if they receive and they believe. But that's that's the choice they make and God gives us a choice. But there's others who manipulate the scriptures, pervert the scriptures, and try to use it to do things to, such as, and I call these categories in John 10.10, 10, to steal, kill, and destroy. So that's what we talk about. We use Galatians uh, 1, 6 through 10, and John 10, 10, and Philippians 3, 12 through 17. I encourage you to take a look at and read those scriptures uh, for yourself because it's very important. But I did put down here, let me go ahead and, and uh, show the, that foundational scripture, which it says in Galatians 1, 6, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of the Christ grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. And that's the whole point. It's not another gospel. But there be some that trouble you and will revert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which you, that which we have preached unto you, let them be a curse. As we have said before, so Say, I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than that which you have received, let him be a curse. For I do now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Think about that. That's why we're talking about the fact is that we're going to show some historical records, uh, and I, you'll see in a few minutes, where... Uh, People have gone to, and this time, the biggest ministry of Christianity at that time, back in the 1400s, 1500s, 15th century, uh, was the Roman Catholic Church. I'm not putting Catholic Church down. I'm not putting, I'm talking about the, the individual who was in charge at that time. Not now. And not the whole history of the Catholic Church. But those that were in charge at that time wrote letters to justify slavery. And that's why people sit there and say the Bible justifies slavery. No. People did. And people did it using another gospel. Why I say another gospel? Because Christ didn't teach us that. That's not in the teaching of Christ. That's not a teaching of to steal, kill, and destroy. That is not the teaching of Christ. Amen? And that's what we want to be saying. So, I hope you enjoy this segment that uh, you're going to listen to this session. And, and the whole point is, people manipulate and try to pervert the gospel to do bad things. And I'm asking you to not let people anymore pervert you to do bad things, but to love one another. Because we're all children of God. 
and we all have the right to have, <laughs> to live in peace, not in torture and pain and oppression and, 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 and discrimination. We, we, don't, we don't need that, amen? So I hope you enjoyed the session. I did extend this, so I'm gonna cut it in some more. Hope we're gonna break this down to A, B, B, to G. But God bless you. And just remember, Jesus, Yeshua is Lord. Yeshua is Jesus' Hebrew name for Savior. God bless you. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> I got to have chapter and verse. I'm be honest with you. I mean, I, you can say it and make it sound good. I need chapter and verse. Yeah. I do. And then yeah. I need to know how. That's how, how it, man. That's, those was his word, chapter and verse. I, I need chapter and verse, and I need to know how it how it how it fits the big picture. It got the puzzle mm -hmm. has to fit where it's supposed to fit. Yeah, and it got to it got to it got to improve the overall appearance of the picture that you're trying to put together. It yeah. can't not fit, and you say, "Oh, it does fit, bro." I'm I I, I done seen some puzzles I put together, and I can make a piece fit. It's not perfect, but yeah. it's so close that you can put it in there. Yeah. But exactly. then when you look at the surrounding pieces around it, the color schemes are different. Yeah. The line that was going through don't line up. Even though it's somewhat quote unquote fit, yeah. it didn't fit. It didn't it fit. fit. It didn't fit. Hey, it didn't fit. <laughs> you can have an all black puzzle mm -hmm. and put a wrong piece where you can force it in there. But when you get to the completion, I'm on that breach. Out of place. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This gonna stick out, even though it's all black. Gonna stick out like four <laughs> times. Be like, what the world? <laughs> because yeah. what? Because they ain't gonna be there. That's why. Because it didn't fit. Because <laughs> it didn't fit. Yeah. Exactly. And and that's what I'm saying. Is so people should really talk about the scripture, discuss just like this platform. They should do that during the week. Just sit there and have your Bible ready for you. Have a piece of paper. You know. And then so you have to agree. We don't have to agree. Just show the scripture. Just like I said, speak the word on it. What does the scripture say? For example, for example, let's let's use this for example. Uh, these scriptures here. Because I'm trying to figure out how we get to the steal, kill, and destroy and say that it was morally justifiable. Um, I like the way you keep going back to scripture, chapter and verse, Pastor. I love that. Yeah, it could speak for, like I said, it speaks for itself, <laughs> right? Yeah. It it is. Tim, Tim, the, how, do, the, how do we get how do we get the slave trade? How do we get the lynching? How do we get the the any other thing that's done wrong? And yet this is in the book. Yeah, we Proverbs. got a new we got a new testament, old testament. Go ahead. Hey, Proverbs six sixteen. These six things does the Lord hate. Oh, he hates those, huh? Yes. Seven are an abomination under him. Oh, now we're talking about abomination. There's a proud look. Mm. A lying tongue. What? And hands that shed innocent blood. Come on now. And a heart that devises wicked imaginations. Well. Feet that be swift and running to mischief. Okay. A false witness that speaketh lies. False witness. And he that sows discord among brethren. What? All I'm doing, you, you just, you're, this is a narrative of our leaders in government. All Come on. Of them. Come on, man. Come on. All of them. All of them. Come on. All of them. Yes, sir. They quick at it, aren't they? Especially, and he put lies in there twice, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he said, seven, look, Jim, it says six days he hates. Seven is a yeah. abomination. And uh -huh. then he sit there and put lie in there twice. <laughs> well, you know, I tell you too, man. I mean, as Americans and as citizens, one, one thing we have to do come to understand is that politics is politics. And let me tell you something. It's not one political party that is lying to you. Both of them are lying. All, it, it, they, all they, they, they are, they're all liars, period. Yeah. And so, you know what? That's why I don't even have conversation about politics anymore with anybody. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm just as fooled as you are. You, yeah. you, you, what you side, you think it's in the truth. And they say, oh, this, I've seen on the news. All lies. I'm telling oh. you this and this and this. All <laughs> lies. We're both been fed a bunch of lies yeah. and they got us down here arguing about their lies <laughs> while they're still doing exactly what yeah, they want to do, they do. you can't themselves. believe bro you can't believe none of it man i'm gonna say the only god can be reveal. There by the people for the people and, and that that no longer exists <laughs> it's no longer corrupt the they fbi is they corrupt yeah political the democrats are corrupt the, the 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 republicans are corrupt yes. the media is corrupt yes. i mean it's it's all corrupt. Every yes. bit of it is corrupt. And that's why you know, I don't even, 
it's corrupt. The DOJ, the FBI, yes. they all corrupt. They all super corrupt. And so, what difference does it make? Let's stop them talking about that and let's go back scriptures. to the script. Yeah. Yes, exactly. exactly right. This is let's the get back to the talks about. Yes, this is that we it's, are to be looking at those things that are above anyway. Anyway, and we look, are ambassadors. They are of their father, yes, the, devil. the devil. The devil. Because the, the scriptures, devil, they would do. The scriptures clearly talks about loving one another, helping each other out. Even when you're talking about the money. We are talking about Jennifer, he came in, we said some reason why we don't have the best healthcare system, even though we're, what a world, I guess we're not a third world, we're not a second world, but yet we fall into the category of some less than then countries because of racism, they don't want everybody to get the benefits. That's, that's where we're talking about where the system is in politics is more concerned about doing things that's going to benefit a few and not all. Where the gospel well, talks about preaching about benefit there's everybody. A, there's agendas out there that, that are in place that have been in place for 100 years, 150 years, that we don't even understand that's being instituted. And, and I'm glad you touched on that health because I was just reading some a couple of days ago in a study that they have talked about, and this thing came about, I don't know, with the 40s or the 30s when they talked about it, but they mm -hmm. said the easiest way, stop fighting against them, stop trying to overturn them. The easiest way is to deny them health care and they'll vanish as a group, as a, as a people yeah. and, 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 yeah. and, and 50 years. Yeah. And so they know exactly what they're doing. They know how they're doing it. And, and both political parties are involved in it. Don't kid yourself. Yeah. They're all pushing the same agenda. They try to make it look like one is trying to get you up there. The other one is not. They, look, don't believe that. They, look, stop being an idiot. They're, 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 they're manipulating you. They're all, they're, as a group, they're against us as a people. Yeah. Period. And don't ever think it ain't no different. You know and what they, I'm saying? And they're about to keep growing. They still keep growing. They still keep yeah, growing. Yeah. The agenda ain't <laughs> The agenda ain't changed. It don't matter who's in office. The hey, look, agenda's still being pushed. But the, but the freaking part is, they said is, they still keep living. They still yeah. keep yeah. thriving. Like the children. <laughs> You're the yeah. when, when, when children of God, when they was in Egypt. Exactly. We, we can't breed them out. We can't kill them. We can't work them to death. They well, still, yeah. yeah. They keep growing. <laughs> and then we're talking about the similarity of that to even modern day. Look at the even the, the uh, like you said, they threw the babies, they threw the baby boys in the river. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they're trying to kill them, right? Because they can't get yeah. big. Well, they said the number is getting bigger. They're getting stronger. They, we got to do things to them because they are becoming a threat. And you know, and, 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 they, and it's not just an outward attack, it's not just an external attack. We always talk about. Oh, oh, they're killing these unarmed black men. They're killing these unarmed black men. I see some of these women out here protest with, protest with Black Lives Matter. Oh, they're killing all these black boys. Girl, you done had eight abortions. You done killed more black boys than any of the police ever killed. Shut your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, they don't have to kill black boys when I'm on the streets. That all they got to do is continue to, to continue to put up uh, put up these abortion clinics in your neighborhood and you're going to kill them off anyway. So what's the yeah. difference? But see, yeah. we don't want to talk about that. Black lives matter. Do they really matter? Well, why are they not mattering in these abortion clinics for these women that are having abortions? If it really matter, we would be protesting against that. Oh, oh so we're not protesting against that because the white man didn't do that. They wouldn't have volunteered. It. Come on, man. That's just hey, 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 look, look. The, the problem was, is not only were the black people doing it, the, the problem they had was that too many white people were doing it uh, we'll as see. far as abortion. Yeah, but let me tell you something. They they look at a poor white person the same as a black person. Well, mm -hmm. one slightly ahead, slightly above. Not mm -hmm. much different, but they look at them all the same. They need to get the rid. They need to rid the world of them. <laughs> they need to rid the world of them. I, I mean, depopulation they... is going to help the elite. Woo! Period. Don't ever think it ain't. Depopulation is part of the agenda to to help the elite. Mm -hmm. And and if you're on the bottom rung, which we automatically are because of the color of our skin. Don't matter how many examples you can give me, the ones that escaped and made it through, mm. you're still on the bottom rung as a nation, and they're trying to get rid of you. Don't be fooled because they let three get by, and them three, they manipulate like hell. In other words, to 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 use them as role models, and then they're gonna corrupt them. So you're following degradation. You're mm -hmm. following gold chains. You're following sagging. You're following gold teeth in your mouth. You're following promiscuity. You're following having sex with plenty of kids. That's what you listen to. Those are the ones that you hold in high esteem. We got you spending all your money 
on perishable goods that diminishing in value the day you buy them. More Mercedes were bought by black people than any other nation in America. We only make up 12%. Yeah. How does that make sense to us? See, these are the things that we don't look at, but because they glorified the nature, those things that are natural, the fleshly things. And guess who's the biggest race of people that follow after fleshly things? And why are we that way? But are that's sure? not what we talk about. Yeah, that's not I mean, what we talk about. And, and Jim, I'm not sure about the the us. I think it's probably easy to to look at that stat that way. But I think it's a you know I think the all these groups have that same tendency, and some use it for power to hurt other people. But that greed is there across the board. Uh, you know what I mean? It's it's, it's across the board. Uh, oh, as no far question. as from what I see, you know, like it's more people on welfare than a, of uh, the European white. <laughs> There's more of them having abortion, Jimmy, than, than us. Well, when you look at actual numbers, you're correct. But yeah. when you look at per capita or percentage, you're not correct. Because they're, they're obviously a large percentage of them. So their numbers are going to be higher. If you're just looking at pure numbers, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. But if you look at percentages, then we're, 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 we ain't but 12 percent look at the numbers that we're putting out based on being 12 percent and the numbers they're putting out being 60 percent then we're still leading them by a long shot so yeah yeah, yeah percentage wise yeah. At, yeah if you look at numbers, your numbers, raw numbers right. yeah yeah, yeah. your raw numbers you're right yeah but looking at percentage man we, we're uh we're 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 outpacing and you, and you show some stats when you used to go to those yeah. schools yeah and you used to do all the things to talk about diabetes and all yeah. the different things and those some of them slides i remember you showing yeah we were we were every De every degrading category, AIDS, diabetes, whatever, we were leading the rest of the, the rest of the nations in every category of those things that were no good to us. Not in numbers, but in percentage wise. And that's where we need to focus. And that's oh, yeah. what we need to be talking about. Yeah, educating yeah. our people yeah. so that we, we stop living uh, and stop doing things a certain way because it's a trick of the enemy. We're that it way because we've been taught to oh, be yeah. that way. It's been ingrained yeah. in us. And a long it's time a, ago. It's, it's no. just a Why? part of, of, of what... I don't know it's not all black folks. Yeah. No. No. Why, why do I hate to go to the doctors? Why yeah. do I hate checkups? Why do... I'm not one. Let me tell you something. Man, I got some buddies and they're black too. I mean, if they cough, they run into the emergency room. <laughs> me, really? I'm going to have to be in coughed up blood, can't hardly walk, <laughs> and, and take them on my dying bed before I, before I call 911. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and, and, and I don't think that's a good trait. And it's basically a, across our race that we don't go to the doctor and right at the same so percentage level that of they do. What, what used to happen to us when we yeah, were exactly. It, yeah. So they so it's been grained in our minds. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly right. You're yeah. right. Hey, You're right. Hey, You're absolutely right. I I, I have to uh, depart. I have to bring my wife somewhere, and uh, she already told me ten minutes ten minutes ago. <laughs> well, she did, that was the, that, that that was that conversation in the background, wasn't it? Yeah, we we did go over our time a little bit, uh, but but yeah, we'll wrap it up. I agree with that. You, if you want, you go ahead and uh, right. give me, we'll wrap it up real quick. Uh, the the slides. Right, I love you, man. Yeah, he, he got. I, I can relate to yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh man, like, come on, we all. But like nigga, said, we've been in this game for a lot of years. We know. When mama say something and she didn't got kind of fed up, it's time to go and make a move. Come exactly, on exactly. I know, you know you're longer than me. I've been about 36 <laughs> years. How long you been married, I'm 39. So I'm 30, almost 30, 70 years into the October this year. Come so, on, I mean, we ain't, new, we ain't newlyweds. You know yes, what I'm sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I agree with you. I agree with you. And like I said, oh, but, yeah. I, but I do want to say, and if you wrap this one, it was to encourage people to use the scripture. I was talking to a brother the other day, man. Uh, he's, he's a good friend of mine. And he'll get he'll see this video. Uh, where we talk about... I, I, he kept talking about the, the, the woes and the problems of because of religion. And and when most people talk about religion, they're talking about us. Talking about our faith, anyway. And that's why, you know, show that history, obviously there's enough historical patterns that the church the so-called church, the people who say they represent the church, have done some bad things, correct? Of course, of course. What, what I was telling them, though, Jimmy, was that there's other places, such as China and some countries, North Korea and other countries, that 
have done just as bad without religion, without Christ as, as their leading factor, because the main common denominator is man. Man himself. Hey, take, Go ahead. You, you're right. I'll also say this, Pastor. Still Satan. Hey, he 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 do that. He gonna use whatever he got. Hey, he to say, he's still exactly. safe to destroy, to kill, still and destroy. Chinese, Indians, whatever. So over here, it may be from a religious perspective. Over there, it may be political. But the, the, the devil is still the devil. And yes, he's gonna sir. use what he got. So don't try to think, oh, oh, just no, it ain't just in America, it's, bro. It's, the it's devil not. is doing the same thing in them other countries that he's doing right here. His nature has not changed. And you can see the same patterns of things. There's a like, well, I can see these stuff is going on in other countries. Of course you can, because the God of this world, the father of lies, is behind all of it all in all it. places. Don't yeah. kid yourself. And like that's, you say, we're all fallible human beings. And that's why we need God. That's why he said, I need to send a savior. Period. Period. Yes, sir. Did you ever thought about Jeremy? Look at the scripture. Did, did not, I'm not going to show it, but the scripture I'm going to refer to, you, you know. In Genesis, Genesis after one, I well, two, wasn't it? He said, "It is not good, come on, a man to be alone." You better and, say that. And you know, I used to suck down. I don't know, but there's something you said. We're thinking about from a relational, physical relationship. Right, right, right. Now, he, he's really saying is, they they need me. They oh, need, come on. They, they need wow. me. Come on. You ever thought about that before? Oh, nah. I, I was never picking that up because with, after that conversation I had with the brother and the one you just referred to, the fact is whether Christ is in it or whether religion is in it or not, you're still going to have the same doggone steal, kill, destroy, fighting, and everything else because you don't have God in the midst. You got, you got it, it, drug abuse in every nation. Come you on, got bro. sexual perversions in every nation. Come America on. ain't just being flooded with homosexuality. Come it's on. It's every nation. Right. You got rich people ripping off poor people Come in on. every nation. You yes, got sir. folks being mistreated in every, every nation. nation. You got some races feel like they're superior of all the races in every, every. nation. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a God thing. It's a devil thing. It's it a ain't devil no thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, some of them may have had it worse than others here and there, so on and so forth. I'm not going to disagree with that, but trust me, the same entity behind it all is it's the same the entity behind it all. Come right. on, man. The first yeah. look, look, the first, the first boy that was born. What do you do? What? What happened? Come on, you think what can you do? Hey, he killed the beginning. It from was the true. beginning, and it ain't changed. That pattern is there from the beginning. Killing yes, sir. The brothers. Look, yes, right, sir. can't even say it to say, am I my brother's keeper? Woo! Woo! How many people sit there in, in this world and you think we don't need God? That's why he said, that. I mean, do you see what I'm saying? That's why Christ said, Mom will not, you got to be born again. We need him, we need him now more than we've ever needed him. You, and, and people say, well, why are you thinking? The world is saying, but yeah, the world is the same. But there are so many more distractions now. There's hmm. so many more different things that, that that buy for our time now. You know, at least we had to sit back in the day and, and think or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we yeah. had we had time to ponder. Now, I was talking to my little son-in-law yesterday, man. Now, I tell him, I said, now you can't sit around and you got your phone in your hand eight to 10 hours a day watching TikTok videos or YouTube videos or surfing the net or Facebook or you don't, how can you ever have time to think Mm -hmm. or have quiet time and let your own thoughts and your own life be your priority that you focus on. You're so pulled and distracted by something outside of you. At least we didn't have all that. We had to think at least. <laughs> yeah. Now you don't even have time to think, bro. So, I mean, yeah, I think it's worse now because, because we're just being bombarded now with so many distractions. Anything to keep us away from focusing on that man in the mirror. And yeah. that's where we need to begin. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, man. Matter of fact, you, I, I made a comment the other day that's similar to what you just said and said before. By the mirror, this Bible, yes, this Bible is a mirror. That is exactly, that's exactly what it is. This Bible is a mirror. It reflects back at you. When you sit there and start reading that word for yourself, you are looking in a mirror. Because you remember... Ooh, matter of fact, you remember that skit that did by the skit guys about the, the God masterpiece. 
And, and, uh -huh. and one, of the, one part of that segment, the guy said, he said, when you look at the mirror, what you see? I see, I see me, I see all my bad stuff. He said, that's the problem. That's the problem. Because when you look at the mirror, if you don't see Christ, then you're right. You're not, you're not, you, you're seeing the wrong thing. You, you, if, if you can't get his image, remember, right? I mean, that it conform to his image, right? Right. The image well, that's what we should be trying to, come that's on. the goal. Come that's on. Goal. And how do I see his image? Through his word. Yeah. I should be lining Wait. up. Go ahead. Because one thing about that Bible, it'll show you who you are. Come if on you read it for the truth, it, it gonna show you every blade, it, come every on. flaw. Come it's on. gonna show you. But see, <laughs> uh, oftentimes we read it hoping it's gonna show us somebody else's lifestyle and, and where they were. Well, well, that's well, that's that's how the enemy use that, right? To deflect exactly. on somebody else, right? 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 right Cause, right. Cause, look, look, I, 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 we're gonna wrap up on here in a minute, but I'm saying it's like the the woman caught in the act of adultery. Yes, sir. Was a great story, a great incident, because the fact is, everybody wanted to pick up a stone. Exactly. For her. Exactly. Until Christ did exactly. what? What did Christ say? And why they walk uh -huh. away? What? Why? Why they all walk away? Had to be a reason. Had said. <laughs> he must. He, he must have started writing on that ground <laughs> some, some, some of their stuff. They, and they saw their name and with some <laughs> with some with some things beside. <laughs> Several they saw they to focus off them, that lady, and focus back on them. Oh, them. And they was like, well, let me walk away from this. I, I I, no, I, yeah, I'm yeah, guilty. Exactly. I'm guilty. Exactly. I'm just and look, the thing about it was they knew it was guilty before they picked up stuff. They knew it. They knew it. They knew but it. They, but they, they figured that, it. oh, this is, uh, let me focus on somebody else. See, as long as I can exactly. focus on somebody else, then I won't you you won't see me. But the problem is saying is, dude, God sees you. Period. That's the whole point. We, you know, we used Period. that one script earlier before you came in. We talking about in Romans 14, I think it's 14, 7. What it says is uh, every last one of us has to give an account of himself to God. Everyone. Come on. Come on, bro. You can't blame. You won't be. Look, who, who are you going to be able to blame when you go before God? Who who are you going to look for? Whoa. 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 Come on, bro. Who who you gonna blame? Who you gonna talk to? Who you gonna say? Well, what Jimmy told me. God gonna sit there and say, He said what? What what did I tell? Because first of all, you know, He gonna sit up and say, What did I tell you? You know, that's one thing, Pastor. You know, most of us, um, we and that's true. We always blame something else for every situation we got going on in our lives, except ourselves, except and that's ourselves. human nature. But that's gonna be one thing. Mm. Finally. Come on. You, you, you ain't gonna be to blame you, nobody. You won't be there for it. Yeah. Right. You, you're gonna have to finally put the blame where the blame lies. <laughs> you know, it's better Ooh. if you start now yes, blaming sir. the correct person. Come so, on. But you know what? You can catch every, you know, it was because of my wife. It was because of that wife you gave me. I mean, it started from the beginning. <laughs> it started I mean, from I'm the beginning. Excited. He Come said on. it was because of that wife. It was because of that wife you gave me. <laughs> he did not take self accountability <laughs> and responsibility for what he did. Exactly. He blamed God. Exactly. And, and we've been blaming everything but the real culprit since then. Come on. And we need to get back over. That's the number one. I tell my kids all the time. Here's the number one way that I know if a child has become responsible and they're adults. When you stop blaming everybody for where you are and you start taking self-accountability for yourself, yourself, then I know this person is maturing. Come on, bro. This that's person whole, is maturing. That's the whole point. Yeah. And I'm using, yeah. that, I'm using my best scriptures here, Jimmy, that I did use. I, I, I don't have to read them to you, but this, this one is always going to be company with the, the, the session, right? It's, it's uh, like this. First of all, he gave the Lord's Prayer, right? And, and one of the things about it, I remember one time you said the Old Testament Prayer, but I said that's interesting because some of the stuff in here uh, is, is New Testament focused. But he said, like I said, who are we talk, who are we pray to? The Father in heaven, right? Which, uh -huh. is, which is different from how they were thinking in the Old Testament. They didn't refer to him as a father. They refer to him more as God, right? Even a name they didn't want to really associate with, right? They couldn't speak, right? So one word, they didn't want to speak his name. But Christ was sitting there saying, who are you talking to directly? God. Remember when Moses was on the mountain of uh, Sinai and X chapter 20, Exodus 20, when after the smoke, after God gave them the Ten Commandments, what did they tell Moses? 
after they saw the smoke and the fire and, and, and God spoke to them. Oh man, they said we don't we don't we don't want to talk to him on our own. You 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 you, you go talk to him. We don't we don't want to have to meet him face to face. We don't want to have to deal with him. You go and then you come back and tell us what do you say? Come on. Come on. See, yeah. see, in other words, they, I think you even agree that they, they, like, even the holy the holiness was was showing that layer of separation. Right? We had the yeah. veil in the temple. But the holy yes, of holies was saying is, oh, you got to be right to come in here. And Period. only one person can come in here. That's that's the, the high priest, right? Yes, sir. Oh man. And so so Christ was sitting there saying, No, I need you to have a personal relationship with your father in heaven through me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then look, 10 says, Thy will be you see now you hear what coming, right? His, what? His will be done. Where? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On earth. On earth. Come as on, it as in Come heaven. On. He said that yeah. it, 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 talking about his daily, because Lemon said, give us this day what? Our daily bread. Our yes, daily understanding of his will. See, we need that daily, right? And yes, then sir. he goes into the part of reflection, right? Here's the reflection right here, Jim. He said, and you forgive and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Now, you, you, you know what that means? I got to reflect every day, right? Yes, Come on yes, now. I, I'm asking for grace, but did I give grace? <laughs> I'm asking for mercy. But did I give mercy? That's, that's that's a reflection every day. Then we get into the part that's more of the world, right? Lead us not into temptation, but he's gonna test us. But he's like the only test he gives is the one you can pass, not not the one you're gonna fail, right? So he said, Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. And the the problem I got here, if he wants, if we want him to deliver us from evil, how can we be evil? Expected to be delivered from evil. So you can't be evil. Does that, that make sense where I'm coming from? You can't yes, do no. evil things and then expect to be delivered from evil things if you're part of that. Because you basically pray every day, deliver, take, get me to, <laughs> if I'm going to practice evil. Huh? Hey, show me something. Get, 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 <laughs> help, help me. Get out of this, please. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Please. Uh, and you know, some, like, like Paul said, uh, that what I wish I know to do, or that what I will to do, I, I do not. But that what I don't want to do, that I do. I mean, so I mean, yeah, so yeah. But help me. I mean, yeah, deliver me, from, deliver this, me. from this. Yeah, please. I need some help in this thing, cause I, that that which I decided is good, that ain't what I do. That but that which I, I decide is evil, that do I. That what I do. On, exactly. Man. Right. Somebody help me. Help me with this situation, cause it it ain't even good for me, and I know it ain't good for me, Pastor, and it ain't working for me. But, but I find myself caught up in it. Yeah. You know I mean? So de deliver me from my own evil, yeah. basically. Deliver me from myself. Woo! Ain't that so oh man, that's a good one right there though, right? Because you yes, think about deliver me from myself. I need deliverance. Yeah. I'm recognizing. Huh? Go ahead. And that's a great that's a great admission right there. When you, when you come to the when you come to the understand that I can't do it on my own. Mm. You're gonna have you gonna have, you got to cry out for help and start and, and, and petition him to help you. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. By you can't fact, do it on your own. By fact, I don't think I don't think anybody ever read it from that perspective what you just said. Ooh, man. <laughs> did you hear what I'm saying? Did, yes, did you sir. even thought about that? That God gave that to you. <laughs> yeah, I promise you. Let me tell you something. If I could do it on my own, I'd all, I'd already be doing it. Come you on, know what I'm saying? Come I'd on. have been done it. And it's I'm saying is that nobody ever looked at read the Lord's Prayer and think that that's what they were saying. Yeah. Come on. Man, I mean, that's a good so that's a good so analogy on that one. Oh, it's so much revelation in that book, man. I'm gonna tell you something, and he'll show you things you ain't never seen before in your life. And I and I say this to everybody: you could read one scripture for mm. 45 years mm. and do every kind of commentary on it and yeah. dissect it and do everything you want to do with it. And think you know it perfectly. Just one scripture, your whole life you can study. Yeah. Jesus Christ could show up on the screen scene and read that same scripture and show you a thousand things in that scripture you never thought about. And then as soon as he said it, you'd be like, Man, how could I not have seen it? It's right there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's right, right there. there. It's right it's there. It's yeah. right there. Cause, cause I definitely... so sometimes we yeah, so we can't ever think we the authority, <laughs> we know everything. We're 100 percent correct. There's so much in there. It's so much. It's so many revelation, and that, and I like it that is one. So much. That yeah. was a good one. That was a good one because most people, I think, every last one of us, all we read about somebody else being the evil. 
Exactly. On, on that particular verse, that particular scripture, deliver us from evil, most people will always think about something so outside of us. Not us. Outside. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So you, you, hey, that's a revelation right there, bro. Yeah, it is. That, that, that's a nugget. I just want you that's, to know that. Let me tell you something. That, that's going to help me. Come on now. I like that. That's <laughs> it. have a whole bunch of other people too to hear that because that, that, that's, that's right. a good one. <laughs> we we thinking about somebody else being delivered from somebody else. Exactly. When they're acting, we talking about ourselves. Lord, get this evil out of me. Because you know yeah. scripture said, like you said, Romans, those of you don't know, Romans said, in my flesh dwell is no good thing. No, there's a few good things in any pastor. Woo! <laughs> And then he wraps right back to what you always said about the kingdom of God. Can you say he wrap it up on that? He said, leave me yes, with a mind. And once again, he, he, he's I'm gonna bring this back to you again. I think he said, Thy kingdom come, right? Uh -huh. Then toward the end, he said, For thine is the kingdom. Yes, sir. Not 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 political parties, not the color no, of sir. His skin. No, sir. But he's the kingdom. And look, he's the power. And the glory. And the glory. Come on, bro. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. Christ said, "This is what." I, and this is this. This is a daily. He said, "Do a reminder." You ain't got to do this verbatim, but I think you need to get these components in here. You know what I mean? And yes, then, sir. then I like the fact that we talk about the fact that Jimmy, the, the last three, first one was First Timothy two four, who will have all men to be saved. That's his will. That's his will. Come on now. And, and and therefore that's what that lines up with the, the Lord's prayer, thy will be done. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. anytime somebody sit there, like those leather we talk about, those popes, right? They sit there and say, No, we you you put these people in perspective of slavery. You you can torture them, you can do anything to them, but that doesn't line up with his will. Not at all. Come on, bro. He said, no, I, he said, I want, he said, who will have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, and that's we, his perfect will. That is his will. That's his will. He, and then, you know, we even change it from the truth to the gospel. Yes, sir. Just to make sure everybody understand. He wants you to understand the full knowledge of the gospel. That's you know? correct. Come on, bro. That's correct. So, so any other gospel, that's why I said you preach any other gospel, you are preaching a curse. Woo. And 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 I and I tell them it's the it's the gospel that Paul preached. That <laughs> that's what they don't want to hear. It's the gospel that Paul preached. Yeah, and Paul said he said I preach I preach that only didn't he? He said speak what who says to speak? Well, when Christ told who said that speak. Who's to speak the word only? That was a, that was a Gentile that said that to Jesus. Yeah, right? just yeah. Speak, speak the, the word, word only. only. Because and, that's and, and, what it's yeah. Come on, bro. Exactly right. And Keep see, one thing about it, what they missed, though, there may be the gospel that Paul preached, but but he told them where he got it from. He told where he got it from. He, he said, said, I got it. I didn't. I wasn't giving it by man, mm. nor, nor through man, Come but on. by the revelation Woo. of Jesus Christ. Mm. Jesus Christ himself, himself revealed this to me. Yeah. I didn't just come up with a gospel mm. of, of Christ or the gospel of grace. This wasn't my invention. Mm -mm. I got this by revelation knowledge straight from the throne. Woo! Period. So you ain't following me. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. I, it didn't come from me. Come on. <laughs> it didn't come from me. And I don't want you to think it came from me. No, sir. No, sir. I, I want you. So that Pope, you know, those things you read earlier. Yes. You, you see what I'm saying? It's like you perverted the gospel. And exactly people trying right. to pervert it today. You know, then like I said, Romans 14, 12 is what I said, so that every one of us should give an account of himself. Yes. And if we don't, if we don't preach that peace, we don't make sure people understand that peace. That's why Christ said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. He ain't coming by the color of your skin. He ain't coming by the party you came from. He ain't coming from the family you came from. You, you just gotta come through Christ. And I'd rather have that advocate than anybody else. And then what's that last one, Jim? And then we we'll close out with that. Which one is that? That's the last verse on that slide. Be not deceived. Huh? Well, God is not mine. Whoa. For whatsoever man soweth, hmm. shall he also reap. 
Come on, wow. bro. Come on. And then we, that's, that's heavy. And that's what I say. We remind ourselves daily. That's what that would come to that mirror, right? That's what that scripture yes, comes sir. to the mirror, isn't it? Because he's yes, saying sir. is, don't deceive. Me. You're not being deceived, are you? What image you seeing? Do you, do you see me, or you see yourself? And if you see yourself, then I think we got problems there. Like, well, that lets you know there's work to be done. There's still a lot, a lot of work that needs to be done. About. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the indication of work needs to be done. Ooh, ooh, my yes, sir. Did, did you yes, catch? Sir. Did God give that to you? I don't think you did. Did you catch what you just said? <laughs> you he said, know, he... "If what? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Go ahead. If, if you say you see yourself, that's an indication. You got more work to do. A lot more. Woo." Man, that's a, a blessing. More. That's a blessing, brother. Appreciate you Amen. coming today. And uh, man, I appreciate it. I loved it. Man, like I said, because we use the scriptures. We're gonna talk. We can talk. We have a different opinion than everything else, but the it's the word that makes the difference. It's the word it, that gives the life. Nothing else, nothing else would never make a difference. You can throw everything else out. Yeah. It's the word, you know. It may and sound it, good. It may tickle some some ears and, and scratch some itching ears. But it ain't gonna make no difference. It ain't gonna no, make no difference. One thing gonna make a difference. No, it ain't. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Those the letters, those those popes that I told you about that you know we showed earlier. Yeah, exactly. And and, and the, the audacity. What I thought was interesting was the audacity of another person going to get moral authority to do evil things. Yes, sir. And it for this politics. It, oh, yeah. That's politics. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. That's what they do. That's yeah. what they do. I just need an excuse, yeah. right? Yeah, I need an excuse. Period. And if I can get an excuse Period. from God, look, look, look. Not, they didn't get it from God. They got it from man, but that's what they want to perceive it to be, right? Oh, I got this authority from God. Yeah. That's what that man went to. I just want that, that uh, what, uh, whatever they, Nicholas, the, when Nicholas V is the Pope, but uh, the other guy was some kind of king or something. He went to go to. He went to the church, not the real church, but he went to a ministry. He went mm -hmm. to the head of a ministry now and said, "Give me the more authority to evade and attack and to steal and to kill people in Africa and make them slaves forever." And wow. that's exactly what we. I'm concerned that some people use. Now, wow, what kind man, of version? Okay. Yeah, what kind of version? It's, it's a corrupt world. Yeah, you are so right. And they try it's to pervert the gospel. That's what we're talking about. The and so we're wrapping it and said that's what we're talking about the danger of the, another gospel, another gospel, which is not a gospel. That, that, that was a good which point is, you got from the scripture, right? Yeah, which yeah, is exactly. not another gospel, right? But they're called it a gospel. And you said, I think what, what is a perversion. Isn't that what scripture said that the devil coming in the age of light? Yes, sir. That's exactly what he does. He appears to be. But in reality, he's darkness and evil and everything else. And we got to watch and we got to teach And look at it. Don't be surprised. <laughs> he should His be. ministers come as angels of righteousness. He, 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 he's sending a lot of them to do the same thing. Don't be surprised. Ain't no, be no surprise. Same, same thing, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, we yes, were sir. Like on Jimmy Baker when he got in trouble, got caught. Yeah, he, he, yes. he, him and his wife were doing a lot of great things, weren't they? He, he, they had, really were. They were. They really and, were. And they were rich, and 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 I mean, just seemed so innocent too, didn't he? he just seemed so nice, and, and and then when he, he looked like crying like a baby when they put him in court. I mean, the judge did give him too much a hard sentence, but uh, it, it brought him down to earth, didn't it? You mean, I tell you, a lot, you a lot of that stuff that we see on the surface, mm. that just because we see it on the surface and it looks all flowery and made up and and pretty, we don't we, behind like they say you 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 whitewash those tombs. Mm. And they look gorgeous on the outside, but what you got to realize on the inside mm. is dead man's bones. Dead Come man's on, bones. it's it's a yeah. lot of stuff behind that thing that we don't see. That yeah. if we really saw it, we'd be shocked. Yeah, we refuse to see it. Yeah. I think I think refuse to see it because they know that they saw behind the veil. But they, I know different pastor. They can look at me and say yeah. he's well put together, he's educated, he's this and that. Bro, they don't know about some of these some of these skeletons. They don't mm -hmm. know about some of this stuff underlined. I yeah. mean, you know, it ain't it ain't a pretty picture. 
I think she didn't tell you. Yeah. It ain't a pretty picture. Hey, look, that's why it's, it's always not but for the uh -huh. blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Come on now. Come on. Hey, look, I think the fact is that if you ain't pointing in all of them, all of us, even if just a, a believer, to point to Christ. It said, don't look at me. Because you're gonna find I... fault. You're gonna find fault with me. If you don't find it today, you'll find us later. Or you'll find it. hide it from you. I might be to hide it from you. But 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 trust trust me, it don't, don't you shouldn't even be looking at me. Please. Exactly. I'm just saying I'm Come a on. sign. I'm Come only on. a sign, period. Mm. Pointing to something else. Don't yes, come here sir. to worship the sign. Uh -huh. You don't travel vacation to get to the sign that says <laughs> Grand Canyon 10 miles. It, I, that's a good indication that you're on the right road, but it's not the main attraction. So don't, oh. now, and sometimes people will stop there at the sign and take pictures. <laughs> and I understand that. You want people to know you're all you're, you're about to get there. Yeah. But let me tell you something. You didn't drive 500 miles to get to that sign and turn around and go home. That was, <laughs> that was a good indication that you had drove 497 miles in the right direction and you only got three miles left. Don't get me wrong. And I understand recording and documenting the journey, but brother, I'm just a sign. The main attraction is still three miles up the road. You know what I'm saying? I love and then that. The, and then the thing about it, Pastor, <laughs> that sign still in comparison to the real deal when you get there and see it. It's going to be Come like, on. wow. Come yeah. on. So, I love yeah, that. Yeah. I love that. Exactly. And that's what you say with the Bible. The Bible says, if you look in the mirror, you know, if you don't see him, <laughs> Uh, that's that's a indicator. lot of work left to do. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's great, brother and brother. Hey, hey, we have a great week. I'm gonna go Thank ahead you, and do, you do the same, man. God I'm bless a... you and your family, sir. Hey, Amen. You still get the videos, right? You said I put them up. Oh, there, absolutely. Baby. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Amen. Hey, and like I said, just encourage people. I think it was encourage people to whatever the church service or even for me like this, have to have to talk about it so they can, you know, that's where they'll learn. You know, exactly. and we and we get a we get a smorgasbord, so they, they definitely can talk about a lot of stuff. Amen. Hey, you be blessed. Amen. <laughs> hey, you be blessed as well, Pastor. Thank you, sir. God bless. God bless. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Amen. Hey, man, I go. I hope everybody enjoyed this uh, segment, this, this session. Man, there was a lot of stuff to cover, a lot of things to unpack, and. And like I said, it's, 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 it's just to show the fact is that all of us should be pointing toward Christ and, and focus on what does the word say. And the Bible is a reflection of who we are. We should see in that reflection Christ. But when we see ourselves, that just means we need to work on ourselves. And we need to understand there's only one gospel not the not the, the 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 other gospels that people try to use to manipulate and, and to steal, kill, and destroy, but the gospel itself. And that's why I'm going to encourage everybody. Just when you look at this study and you look at the title, I hope that when you got to the end, if you get to the end, I pray that you do. Is the whole purpose is this fact is that people have used ministries have used another gospel. And how do you know what is another gospel? When it doesn't line up with the word of God. See, there was no gospel talking about lynching, enslaving, brutalizing, raping, killing. There, there, was, there was nothing in the gospel for that. <laughs> but yet, people obviously got walked away with it. There's people that sit there today. How does somebody sit there and, and beat somebody up because, oh, they, they, they are homosexual, so, oh, I, I, we was going to beat them up. And it's like, where did you get that from, from the gospel? Well, you think you're gonna get a moral authority to hurt somebody just because they're different? Where do you get the moral authority to go and, 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 and shoot up a synagogue? What, what, where do you get that from? Where do you think that comes from? That ain't come from the gospel. When you go and do bad things, don't think and don't let any ministry give you the moral authority to do bad things. There's doctors out there that's killing people of color or not treating them fully so that they do die. Trying to kill. There's people 
uh, police officers that, that sit there and, and do racial profiling and end up causing and escalating this situation, situation is just a normal traffic stop, it should be, and do something where somebody ends up getting killed. All because they think they have a moral authority. And I, I'm pretty sure it's not just talking about using the authority of, of being a, a police officer or being a, a moral authority of the being a justice of the peace. It's the, they, some of them are believing deriving from the, they think they get it from the gospel. They think they get it from the teaching of Christ and that's not what Christ is all about. He's talking about loving one another. He's talking about the scripture I showed you that he's the will for all men to be saved. And one of the scriptures that, that we didn't cover, um, because we definitely ran out of time, but just to close out with you, I just want to make sure you understand what the scripture said here. He said in Galatians 5, 18 to 21, but if you be led of the spirit, you're not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which of these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, immolation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envy, murder, drunkenness, reveling, and such like it was I tell you before, as over to in time past, the day we do such things should not inherit the kingdom of God. But if you do what Christ said, which is John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, no one couldn't follow but by me, then go his way. He's the Savior. Stop letting people manipulate you and deceive you and justify bad behavior. Because just like that, those slides earlier, those who probably didn't hear get a chance at the beginning of the slide, we're showing where the, the governments went to the to the leader of the church back then, the Catholic Church that then, and you and we, you can just disregard the fact that Catholic went to what they call people that are supposed to represent the church. <clears throat> people that are supposed to be leaders of the church to get more authority to do bad things. And how many people today in 2023 goes to ministries to get endorsements to do bad things. How's racism in the body of Christ? Somebody gave or giving authority to do that. But let me just tell you, the more authority only comes from God. You want to find more authority, find in the Word of God. If you're a Christian, you find in the teaching of Christ. And I guarantee you, you're not going to find <clears throat> killing people, mass incarceration, and any other thing like that. Hate and dis disruption and all that stuff. You're not going to find that in the teaching of Christ. So I pray, listen, study the Word of God. And I pray for ministries. And I pray for the, those who are sowers, believers, and going to preach the gospel. Use the Word of God point toward Christ, love one another, teach them it's a gospel of love. It's not a gospel of division, it's a gospel of love. It's a gospel of unity, because it's one body, one Lord, one faith, one God, one baptism, one. <clears throat> and none of us, regardless of your color, political affiliation, anything else, has and should try to keep somebody out of it. Bring them in, amen? God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the session and the study. And I'll chop them down. I'll chop them down. Don't worry about it. I will break this down and put them on, post them on, on uh, YouTube and Twitter and, and uh, Facebook uh, that you can digest them. Because that's what it's all about. Getting the word out, teaching the word of God, so we all can understand the word of God. Amen. Hey, I hope you have a great week. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave comments if you want to make comments. Uh, but I see you when I see you. God bless you. God loves you. I do too. We should love one another. Amen. God bless. <laughs> hey, man. God bless you. We Once again, I, I really enjoyed the discussion that was done this week for this Sunday, um, the uh, 5th, or oh, was it, 6th of August. 
Uh, and, and, and you really need to take a look at this and, 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 and analyze the scripture, see? And I'm gonna talk about the fact is that there's people today as well as documented history of people preaching, teaching, authorizing another gospel. And what I mean another gospel mean is that our gospel is, which may stand for good news, is to love one another. Our gospel is that God sent his son, his only begotten son. And I ain't talking about, I'm talking about his spirit, the spirit of Christ. His body came so that he can be and die for our sin. You, you can't kill God, amen? But you can't, God sit there and put himself in the flesh incarnated for the flesh, amen? So the point I'm saying is that the gospel is that God sent a savior for all mankind, for all mankind to be saved. And that's, that's the teaching of the gospel and that all of us can receive it. Don't mean we're gonna be forced to do it. And that's another thing about it is if you preach a gospel where you can, you force somebody to be a believer, then, then you're not preaching the gospel. The gospel is an invitation. The gospel is a gift. And you don't make people receive a gift, you offer the gift. And for us as sowers and believers, we continue to preach the gospel so people can understand it. Amen. So well, I think you're gonna love this. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, leave comments if you, if you want to make comments. Uh, but just understand these sections, these sessions are designed to help us grow. And I also encourage we talked about earlier is. Don't forget to use whatever you did in this our sessions or what you heard in your church service. Don't forget to go out and discuss that with your fellow believers or for people that's not a believer. We don't go to we don't go to ministries just for ourselves. We go for the ministry to grow and to, to spread the gospel because that's the calling that we're supposed to have, amen? So don't forget that. I just encourage you to use our session, our platform, or any other ministry platform. If they preach and teach the gospel, use that as discussions throughout the week so you can grow and other people can learn from it as well, amen? I just encourage you to do that, you know? And I put that here, the scriptures, it says, no other gospel which is in Galatians 1, 6 says, I marvel you so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ and to another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, then that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so I say it now again, if any man preach any other gospel, Unto you, then that you have received, let him be accursed. For I do not, for I do now persuade men, O God, or do I perceive, or seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. So that's that's basically what we were trying to cover, and we talked about it. Some great discussions. So I hope you enjoy the the session that we went through today and uh we will see you when we see you i'm gonna break this down in about from from a all the way to g if necessary uh for you to look at analyze and study don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you when i see you i bless you I appreciate you listening i appreciate your support and continue to do what you believe is right and continue to lift all those up in prayer to preach the true gospel amen god bless you and like i said don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you when I see you. All right, God bless you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.